Hello Warhammer fans and welcome back to Nine Inch Charge. Games Workshop have just dropped a brand new article on the Warhammer community about the old world and I think this could be the biggest reveal yet. They have revealed among other things who are going to be the main factions in the game when it is released. So without further ado let's get into this article and see everything that we've got here because as always there is more than meets the eye initially. Grab yourself a refreshment, sit back and prepare for a journey back to the realms that started it all. The article begins by saying, with so many distinct armies fighting over the old world, you might be asking the question, which factions will be the ones to feature in Warhammer the Old World? We've seen a noble paladin of Bretonia and a tomb king who seems very upset to be awoken, so it's safe to assume that these two factions will feature prominently in this new game, but speculate no more as the guys from the Warhammer Design Studio are here with a guide to who's who in the era before the Siege of Prague. Take it away. They then share this picture which details all of the main factions, the nine they've mentioned, who we've got for good and who we've got for evil. So for good, we are seeing the return of the Empire of Man, the Dwarven Mountain Holds, the Kingdom of Britonia, the Wood Elf and the High Elf Realms, and for evil, we have the Orc and Goblin Tribes, the Warriors of Chaos, the Beastmen Bray Herds, and the Tomb Kings of Kemri. These armies will have rules published alongside the launch of the Old World and will be the pivotal players in the events covered in the narrative expansions and supplements. Fans of these armies can also all look forward to some shiny new miniatures that will accompany the return of many classic kits. I have to say that this is a pretty sizable release. Nine fully playable factions from the off all with a glow up and new miniatures. I cannot wait to see some of the new miniatures that will be coming, especially for myself as a Wood Elf player. I can't wait to see some of those, but also I'm really looking forward to seeing what they might do with the Orcs and Goblins or with the Empire as well. The article then continues to talk about some of the factions that won't make it back and it talks about the narrative reasons for this. But it does say that the armies that aren't going to be returning are still going to be supported with rules. And it says that these legacy faction army lists will be made available for free as PDFs as a service for fans who have these classic armies on their shelves so they can still bring them to the battle for old times sakes. And these factions supported by PDF rules are going to be the Dark Elves, the Skaven, the Vampire Counts, Demons of Chaos, Ogre Kingdoms, Lizard Men, and Chaos Dwarves. And as part of the article we've been treated to some pictures of some of the factions that will be returning. The first picture that they've got here of an army is of Wood Elves fighting Dwarves. And here we've got a return of two kits that were originally metal or fine cast. The War Dancers and the Tree Man. What's interesting here is that there was a current Tree Man in Warhammer Fantasy 8th edition. Which is the Tree Man that is used in Warhammer Age of Sigmar for the Sylvaneth. And this isn't the one they featured here. So will we see for the old world they're going to bring back this old tree man kit instead of using the one from age of sigma to make it a bit more distinct obviously there's nothing stopping you from using whichever one you like but interesting nonetheless that they would think about bringing this kit back the orcs and goblins pictured here are also fighting dwarves and we've seen the return of the boar boys and the boar boys chariot now the boar boys were one of the early rumors to come out that this kit would be coming back and games workshop was remaking it so it's good to see that validated. It's a great kit, to be honest. And finally, also fighting against the dwarves. Obviously, the dwarves have got a lot of grudges to bear in this age. They're fighting against the high elves. And here we can see the kit that is the white lions. And this is something that we talked about in the previous video for the old world about the stamps, where we speculated because they were on the poster stamp, they'll be making their way back. The interesting things for me here, firstly, is the... Um, is the big waystone thing here that was made by Forge World. And also it's the Swordmasters, because these Swordmasters look like they're the plastic ones from the Island of Blood kit. And when these came out, they came out in the Island of Blood starter set, but there are all kinds of different bits on the sprue as well, like a bit of a griffin and a bit of this and that. So they weren't really confined to their own sprue. So it's interesting to see these come back. Does this mean we're going to see Island of Blood come back? Of course, there is a lot more to say about this article. So we will be doing a couple follow-up videos, um, one especially about the lore that they've mentioned here. We haven't gone into fully. But really, my main takeaway is just how clear Games Workshop has been here. I'm just really pleased with the communication that they've given. It's very straightforward. It's very easy to understand. These are the factions that are coming back. 
this is what we're going to do to support the other factions. It's just great to see. Really is very clear communication from Games Workshop. It's a really big reveal. I think although we haven't seen any other brand new miniatures like we did at Warhammer Fest, I do actually think this is probably a more significant reveal than what we got there. Of course, as ever, let me know what your opinions are in the comments. Personally, as a Wood Elf player, I am over the moon and I'm going straight back to painting my, uh, my Wild Riders in anticipation. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and you want to watch any of the follow-up videos we've got on this article. Make sure you don't miss out. And of course, a huge thank you to our patrons, Sida Khan and Alith Anar. And if you want to join the patrons and help support the channel, there's a link down below in the description. All right, guys. Keep rolling your dice, keep painting your models, don't drink your paint water, and I will catch you next time.